friends, welcome to our new video. Today we are going to introduce you to one of the biggest and most amazing implementation projects in Kabul city, Band Shah and Araus. Have you ever wondered how this 75 meter high dam was built in the Shekhardara region? Or how to control its Bay Lake seasonal floods help? How will this dam irrigate 2,700 agricultural lands and generate electricity? And most importantly, how will this big project improve the lives of millions of Kabul residents? Stay with us until the end of this video to answer all these questions and find out more. You definitely cannot miss this interesting and vital information. The Shah and Araus Dam is a 75 meter high concrete dam located in the Shakardara district of Kabul province, Afghanistan. With its impressive height, this dam plays an essential role in the management of water resources in the region. The spillway of this dam has three bays and is 60 meters wide, which makes it capable of controlling seasonal floods. This feature helps to prevent possible damages caused by floods. The Shah and Araus Dam was built mainly to provide irrigation water. This dam has the ability to store enough water to irrigate large agricultural lands which contributes to the agricultural productivity of the region. In addition to irrigation, the dam is designed to provide reliable fresh water throughout the year. This fresh water is very vital for domestic and industrial use and helps to improve the quality of life of the people of the region. After operation, the power plant of this dam will produce 1.2 megawatts of electricity. This electricity production helps to supply energy to the region and reduces dependence on other energy sources. Shah and Arous Dam can irrigate 2,700 hectares of land. This amount of irrigated land plays an important role in producing agricultural products and providing food for the people of the region. In addition to providing irrigation water, this dam also provides drinking water to millions of Kabul residents. This feature is of great importance because safe drinking water is one of the basic needs of life. The construction of Shah and Arous Dam was proposed by the Ministry of Energy and Water of Afghanistan. This project is part of the Afghan government's efforts to improve the country's water infrastructure. The deadline for bidding for the construction of the dam was March 24, 2014. The Iranian JV company of Tablia and Parhun Design was chosen as the main contractor of this project. This choice was made based on the company's ability and experience in building similar dams. The irrigation and hydropower project of Shah and Araus included a dam full of stones, a catchment, a power plant, a spillway, and the main channels on the right and left sides. This project is comprehensively designed to meet the various needs of the region. The design and construction contract was awarded to Albor Saze Company. This company was responsible for the implementation of the project and continuously monitored the progress of the work. President Ashraf Ghani visited the construction site in June 2015. This visit showed the high importance of this project for the Afghan government. The total cost of building the dam reached about $50 million. This cost included all aspects of the project, including the dam structure, power plant equipment, and related infrastructure. The Shah and Araus Dam is built with a height of 81 meters on a stone base and about 330,000 cubic meters of concrete. This project is the first roller concrete, RCC, in Afghanistan, and it took 55 months to complete. The project was completed in spring 2023 and created 500 Afghan jobs during its construction process. This multi-purpose project has major components including roads, bridges, a concrete dam, a power intake structure, a powerhouse, a spillway, a balancing tank, and head regulators. Shah and Araus Dam of Kabul is one of the most beautiful dams in Afghanistan. This dam is located in the mountainous and green area of Kabul. River water is stored through this dam. Shah and Araus Band has many natural views. This dam is one of the popular tourist destinations in Afghanistan. The construction of this dam has helped the economic development of the region. Shah and Arous Dam helps to supply agricultural water in the region. This dam has helped reduce local droughts. The structure of the dam is very resistant and durable. The area around the dam is full of native plants and trees. 
Banshaw and Arus is a place for people to have fun and picnic. Tourists come from all over Afghanistan to see this dam. The dam water is very clear. The view of the sunset in this area is unique. Many birds live around the dam. This dam has added to the natural beauty of Kabul. Banshaw and Arous Kabul is also known by other local names. Many photographers come to this area to capture beautiful images. Dam water is also used for industrial purposes. Fishing is very common in this dam. The hiking trails around the dam are very popular. The air around the dam is fresh and pleasant. Many families spend their holidays in this area. This dam has helped to improve the quality of life of the people of the region. Shah and Arous Band of Kabul is very beautiful and spectacular in the spring season. Many local celebrations and ceremonies are held around this dam. Dam water is also used to meet people's drinking needs. The mountain scenery around the dam is breathtaking. This dam helps to preserve the water resources of the region. Visiting the Shah and Arous Bridge in Kabul is a pleasant and unforgettable experience. We have reached the end of this video, and I hope that the information provided was useful and interesting for you. The Shah and Bride Band is a symbol of effort and progress in Afghanistan. This big project shows the ability and will of the Afghan people to improve their country's infrastructure and better management of natural resources. This dam has greatly contributed to improving the quality of life of the people of the region by providing important services such as providing drinking water, irrigating agricultural lands, and generating electricity. I hope that the day will come when the people of Afghanistan will achieve complete self-sufficiency and the country will achieve the growth and development that everyone aspires for. Also, I wish that peace and tranquility remain in this land and that all people live in security and prosperity. With efforts and cooperation, we can create a brighter future for Afghanistan. Thank you for staying with us until the end. Stay tuned for our next videos and share your thoughts with us. Thank you for watching.